Aging is a problem because it's bad for you. It causes, uh, it causes two thirds of all deaths. 100,000 people every single day die of aging. And of course, it's not just the death, it's also the huge amount of suffering that's involved. Most people who die of aging, they die after a long period of disease and disability and decrepitude and dependence and general misery. So it's fairly astonishing to me that anyone would even ask the question of why aging is a problem. The way that we're going to actually bring aging under genuine medical control is essentially by preventative maintenance. You can think of it as damage repair. The human body, just like any simple man-made machine, it accumulates damage as a consequence of its normal operation throughout life. And there's only a certain amount of that damage that the body is set up to tolerate. So eventually we go downhill because we've got too much damage. If we can repair that damage, fixing the cellular and molecular changes that the body inflicts upon itself throughout life, then we just won't get the diseases and disabilities of old age. And yes, we will live a lot longer, but that's not the point. The main thing is we won't get sick. It's vital to understand that we should not think of the diseases of old age as being somehow associated with aging. They are aging. They are part and parcel of the same package. There is no biologically meaningful distinction between the aspects of ill health in old age that we call diseases, like Alzheimer's, and the aspects that we don't call diseases, like you know, loss of muscle mass or declining function of the immune system or whatever. They're all part and parcel of the same thing. So if we can address that thing, if we can repair the damage that eventually, when there's too much of it, causes the decline in, Ill, in health in old age, then all of those aspects of aging will be eliminated. I believe that at this point, even though, of course, you have to be I have to make clear it's very speculative because it's pioneering technology, I believe that we have at least a 50-50 chance of really bringing all of these aspects of ill health in old age under biomedical control within the next 20 or 25 years, just so long as the early stage research that's being done right now by people like Science Research Foundation is actually properly funded. At the moment, the funding is very inadequate. We could probably be going three times faster if we had more money. We could easily lose a whole decade, which is half a billion lives, if that doesn't change. You can go to our website, sense.org, S for sugar, E for elephant, N for November, S for sugar, dot O-R-G, and find out all about this and contact us if you have any other questions. Thank you.